Hello everybody, it's Boaz Fader. I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for May 23rd, 2016. Moon still in Sagittarius and it's squaring the nodes today. Sensitive day, emotionally, we have to be aware of it. And again, as I said yesterday, do not let your emotion rule you or rule your day during the next few days. There could be some confusion and there could be mixed feelings and indecisiveness. Yet our work, our job, is to go on with everything that needs to be done during this next few days. Everything that we already uh, allocated our uh, aims and, and targets to. Don't uh, lose your direction. Keep on going on your tracks and don't let emotion sidetrack you from whatever you promised yourself you're going to accomplish because these days are important and their implications would uh, would really uh, affect things down the road. So we could reap the benefits if we are uh, dedicated during these few days. The benefits will show themselves during the next few months. There is a trine to Uranus at around uh, 1400 hours Central European time. That's around 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's a day that we could think outside the box, that we could be ourselves and be innovative at the same time we could bring solutions to, to problems in our daily lives, bring advanced thinking and, and uh, all kinds of flexible and, and uh, updated ideas that can really uh, upgrade our daily lives and everything that we need to solve in our daily lives. So utilize that, utilize that. There is a square to Chiron that's uh, exact at around 1900 hours Central European time, that's 1300 hours Eastern Standard Time. We have to be aware that this is a time that we are extra sensitive, we could be in touch with old pains within ourselves or meet them in people in our uh, surroundings and this is a day that we could even get into arguments or all kinds of confrontations with uh, regarding issues that are already known and that we've dealt with before and we meet them again in our lives. But the thing is, as I said, is remain dedicated and don't let emotion sidetrack you. And the Sun in Gemini helps us as it's conjunct Vesta. It, it gives us a lot of dedication, it gives us a lot of focus, and it's, it is opposing Mars, there's a lot of energy there, and we should not utilize this energy to go into confrontations or fights with people, but just take it, take that energetic wave, and impl implement it in anything that you hold important in your life. Mercury moving forwards after being three weeks in retrograde and our communication flows much easily. We could uh, plan our life and navigate through it much easier and we don't have all these malfunctions anymore and our electronic appliances and communication appliances are working regularly. So. Thank you for listening. I hope you're having a wonderful beginning of the week and it's going to be a positive and strong week for all of us. This is Boaz Father. Goodbye.